No. <laughs> Hello, I'm Sophia, and today I will be showing you how to become a tuxedo measuring expert. We have about 11 measurements to go through. Follow along. Your first measurements are pretty simple. You're going to want to get the man's shoe size, height, and weight. Don't let them lie, ladies. Then you're going to want to get their neck measurement. Make sure you have two fingers in between the tape. Your measurement should look like this. Mine is 14 inches. Your next measurement is going to be their arms. You're going to want to start at the back of their neck. Start at the back of the neck and work your way down to the shoulder, the elbow, and the wrist. Once you get to the arm measurements, you're going to want to make sure that it's one inch past their wrist. The next measurement, you're going to want to give them a hug. Don't give them a choice. Make sure, <laughs> make sure that your tape isn't slanted at all. We don't like limp things. Your next measurement, you're going to want to give them another hug. They may fight it, but keep going. Again, you're going to want to make sure it's not droopy. Your next measurement is going to be the man's waist. This part, you have to get up close and personal. You're going to want to get your measuring tape and ask your person where their belly button is. And if they tell you they don't have one, call the CIA immediately. Phone number insert here. You're gonna wanna ask them where their belly button is and go one inch below that. That's their measurement. Again, make sure it is not droopy. And don't forget ladies, and gentlemen, make sure you have two fingers in there. Your next measurement, you get really up close and personal. You're gonna wanna go from the side on this one. You're gonna have to go right above their crotch, around their buttocks, again, no droops to get the correct measurements. Especially not here. <laughs> That's gonna be their hip size. The last one was waist. The next one is their seam. You're gonna wanna start from the top of the leg at your hip on down to your ankle. Once you get to the ankle, you're gonna wanna take off an inch and a half why you just don't stop an inch and a half before you get to the ankle, I do not know. That is not a question for me. And there you have it, your measurements for your man. Come back next time on the Bridal Training Channel. Ya hoes. <laughs>